Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest, uh, one of my best friends, Christabel. We're gonna do a what's in my handbag. And I thought rather than just seeing what's in mine, you might like to get a sneak peek in hers as well. <laughs> so let's get started and show you what we've got. So my handbag today is my Celine. It's not a real one. I don't have a thousand or two thousand pounds to spare. <laughs> I got mine in Istanbul for a hundred pounds. So it was still quite a decadent purchase for me, but I really, really love it and I've used it a ton. So I've got obviously a charity shop scarf on it to make Very it look nice. expensive. So I think this was about a pound from my local Bernardo's. Um, it's got a little zippy pocket on the front that I just use for business cards because you should always have your business card with you. Um, and that's my bag. So mine as well, it's not a designer bag. It is called Bailey and Quinn and this is Debenham's own designer brand. Ooh. After having a fake Prada handbag that I loved, um, which snapped when I was at the airport and I had to walk around with it under my arm, I gave up on having fake bags. So I'll wait until I can afford the real thing. It's going to be a very long time. So my boyfriend gave me this before Christmas. Mm. And then my girlfriend gave me for my birthday this Aspinall. So it's kind of aspiring to be a designer handbag but it's not. And I thought rather than having the key ring shoved inside my bag, I'd have it out so I can sort of pretend it's... And just to give it a bit of colour because it is a bit black and I do like a bit of colour. So, I'll go first. Um, we're just going to do a bit of a lucky dip. Yeah. I will start off with my water bottle. Mm -hmm. I've got the Brita one um, and I love it. Saves on plastic, always have it with you, always refill it. Saves a bunch of money if mm -hmm. you don't have to buy. I hate buying bottled water. I think this cost £10, so it was a bit of an investment for a piece of plastic, but I love it and you save the environment. So my first item that I'm going to put out after talking about not having a designer bag, I've got my fake Prada purse that was to go with my Prada handbag that snapped and broke, but the purse seems to be in full functioning order. I've got a few stamps because I like to write a lot of letters. Um, my next thing is my Cat Kids and Glasses case. Um, my mum got me this for my birthday. Oh, I was with you and you got that. With Christabel. And I have the same one, but it's not in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> we went shopping together at Gum Yeah, 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 I remember that. Um, so I got this little Cat Kids and glasses case it's I really need it brightly colored because otherwise I can never find my glasses um, and my glasses are black Ray-Bans that I got in Thailand um, so a bit cheaper than getting them here they remind me of the first ones you had when we were at school at Tulba Heath back in the yeah, day I like that, weren't we've they? been friends a long time <laughs> my next item which I think is really on topic at the moment for when you have to buy shopping bags which is mm. really annoying this is a Radley little fold out shopping bag, it's machine washable and it's really big, it's just really handy to have so I never get caught out having to buy a 5 bag because everyone knows how annoying that is. Well seeing as we're doing Radley, I've got my Radley umbrella, it's got um, London skyline all around oh, the edge cute. of it. So my next thing is my phone battery charger because no one's phone lasts a whole day anymore. <laughs> so this is a naked salted caramel and it's all natural ingredients. Very good. <laughs> Um, I, my next thing, I guess, is my phone. At the moment I've got it in a pink pineapples case, which I love, yeah. and I always have my phone in the case, because all these people who are like, it's so annoying, my phone got smashed, I'm like, yeah, well it wasn't in it. a case. Yeah. <laughs> Zero pity yeah. from me here. Um, so this one I have in a case. I like to have the flip cases, so that I can keep all my cards in it. So I keep a bit of cash, and then my important cards, like yeah. my rail card, debit card, ID, that kind of thing. I always have them all together. That's very cool. So next in my handbag, I've got some Avino hand cream, which Louise's mum actually got me into. It's really nice, it's got sort of like no nasty ingredients in it, and it just makes your hands really soft. Well, my next stuff is all inside this little bag. I've just, I got this in a charity shop um, last week for 75p. Oh, and look at it, And it's yes. so cute. Yes, it. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen this. Um, I've just started the thing where you have your little handbag bits in a separate bag. Yeah. And I always thought that was stupid because I was no, like a bag inside a bag, such a good idea. but it's really good. So all the little like bits that you're always rummaging for in your bag or when you change bags, mm -hmm. you don't have them with you. So um, for now, I'll just do the bag and you can do yours, but I'll show yeah. you all the bits that are inside it as well. Talking about hairbrushes, my tangle teaser being a lover of tangle teasers. I have um, tangle teasers in pretty much every form and this is my handbag form. There you go, it's got like <laughs> a weird thing to stop it from getting all bashed in your bag, but it is a bit bashed because it's quite old now. Tangle teaser! Inside my little miniature bag within a bag, I will start with my nail file. <laughs> um, I have lost many pairs of glasses and um, two nail files scratching them, so oh. this one I have in a little case. Oh, I, I got it from Primark, they still have them, they've had them for like a year or so, they still sell them, so you get two nail files and a case together. I've um, never seen one of those. Yeah, obviously the files run out, but I love the cases, so this is my like amazing life hack. Go down to Primark and buy one. 
but awesome. I like Louise, well actually mine's not really a bag in a bag, it's just my makeup bag. I got this in America and Sephora and I loved it the day I got it. It did say kiss and makeup but then about a week later this all scratched off so mm. bad Sephora. There was one that I wanted to get but it was so big and it said it would be, a, it would, um, losing you would hurt but losing my makeup bag would be a tragedy. <laughs> So inside my makeup bag, I do have some really odd things that people find really strange that I find necessities. I always carry a toothbrush and toothpaste with me. I have quite hygienic a fold up um, toothbrush. So it's like this. Mm -hmm. Get those in Boots mm -hmm. and Superdrug and they're really cheap and then I just have one of their travel size. Well, most people find this gross, but I actually think it's really hygienic. I have a toothpick and a tooth scraper because I hate having skanky things in my teeth. Uh -huh. and it's better than flossing and it's better than going to... It's like having a hygienist with you all the time. So after lunch, I'll go to the loo and get rid of it. Mm -hmm. My and guess who's never had a filling? Yeah, never had a filling, this is why. Well, the closest I've got is chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute though. Yes, so I oh, have it so in cute. a miniature watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got this in Thailand because in Thailand everything looks like this. Um, <laughs> again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen it. It actually had sweets in it, but I ate all those, got some fillings, and <laughs> then um, replaced it with all my um, mints and size. That makes my packet of chewing gum seem really boring, so we'll, we'll forget that item. <laughs> Um, inside my makeup bag, I actually have pretty much my whole face. But I'm, I'm never without. I've had to stay some other night. I always have my makeup. So inside, I won't go through everything, but it has foundation, Clarins, Lancome mascara, lip gloss, more mascara, some eyelash glue, a miniature perfume. I have my um, Naked Urban Decay. Uh, this is my favourite out of the big Urban Decay palettes. So I just have one mini one, so I've always got an eyeshadow. I've got some nail oil. Anyone who has shellac nails, they'll know how dry your nails get. Some eyeliner, another mascara, <laughs> another mascara. Oh, and some E45. This is actually the cheapest moisturiser on the planet, and it's also my favourite moisturiser ever. This is on my face. Um, it doesn't have any nasty additives or perfumes, which I don't really like having on my face. That's pretty much my whole makeup bag inside my handbag. So the only makeup bits that I carry with me um, are my Clarins, and then I also have a little hand cream with me. I have a Kath Kidson diary, which I was just telling you is actually um, out of date, but it's got so many useful things in the back, like people's addresses, because I love to write to people also. And then lastly, I've got some perfume as well, which is also another present for my boyfriend. Put it at the airport for me in duty free and it's um, Coco Mademoiselle Chanel. Ooh. Well my last few bits, um, I've got a purse with a bunch of coins in, hair grips, hair ties, um, oh, yeah. which I also got in a charity shop, 50p, <laughs> super cute, like beaded, it's probably from Accessorise originally. Um, headache pills, obviously, because life's life. a headache. <laughs> life's a headache. <laughs> Um, and I also always carry earplugs with me um, yeah, like for on the tube, it's really loud, um, or on an aeroplane, yeah. or I always wear them in nightclubs or at gigs. So, um, <laughs> You're such a grandma! I know! Well, <laughs> actually... <laughs> The most romantic, unromantic present ever. Well, because we were reading about um, tinnitus and how once you get it, you have ringing in your ears forever and you can't get rid of it. So we always wear them in nightclubs and we like smugly look at each other like, yeah, you're not getting tinnitus. You better wear your hair down as well. Yeah, you can't even see them. You can, but you can still hear all the music and everything. And, and I keep buying them for friends because I'm the lame friend who's I like, you don't want, want to get friend. tinnitus. I don't want it. Okay. They're really expensive as well. They're yeah, like 20 quid. I don't want it. Um, and then I have my house key, which has got a little um, photo keyring on it of me and my boyfriend at prom um, when we were like 17, cute. so super cute. cute. Um, and then I just have my business cards, my Aww. blog ones, and also my personal ones um, with my mobile number on. And that's it! it. Empty handbags! Yay, I'm going to put it all back inside. <laughs> <laughs> So I really hope you guys have found that interesting. I hope you're going to go out and buy some earplugs and a water umbrella. bottle and a snack and an umbrella. Yeah, and a toothbrush and some toothpaste, foldable toothbrush as well. Yeah. Before you know it, you'll have perfect teeth, <laughs> perfect ears, perfect everything. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe and comment below if you think we've missed out any essentials that you have in your bag. See you again soon. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I thought I would show you some awesome things I found in the charity shops this month. 